welcome to this channel i hope you're doing good in this channel i teach you how to speak lawyer language like a pro and my name is doreen nekesa if you're new and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back if you're new please subscribe if you like the content so today it's very interesting because i'm going to tell you a little bit about the language that i teach you a little bit about the lawyer population in kenya just a little history so that you can get to understand because i've noticed that when when i'm doing this session some people kind of just confuse the language that i'm doing they think that when i teach a lawyer language it's all the same so i thought today i could tell you about the history and how many sub tribes of luya we have and from there i hope you're going to learn a thing or two so that you cannot keep confusing so if this excites you if it is the or if, if it is the kind of content that you like please subscribe and let's do it welcome back so the luya people the luya people occupy the western part of kenya i'm saying western because initially before the new constitution that that came about and introduced the um, devolved government where we had um, the national government and now the county government we had the larger uh, the provincial administration where we had western kenya that is that was mainly occupied by the luya people so if you come to nairobi now we have luya people in nairobi of which there are other people other tribes as well but the luya people are majorly found in western part of kenya it is actually western it used to be called western but it is still with the western part of kenya on the compass direction so they are the second largest some uh, the second lang largest ethnic group in Kenya after the Kikuyu and they op occupy the western part of Kenya the current western part of Kenya is divided into four counties the four counties are Vihiga County Bungoma County Kakamega County and Busia County Yes, Bungoma, Kakamega, Busia, and Vihiga. That is where the Luya people are found. And the places are very populated, by the way. They are very populated. If you visit there, there are so many homes and so many homesteads. And we, we do not have a lot of large uh, chunks of land that are just lying about. Like if you go to places like Narok, sorry to say, places like Narok and Kajalo, where there are huge chunks of land that are that are just lying fallow. The Western province is very populated and people are so many. So the um, the, the, the Luya people are divided, they are, they are classified under the Bantu speaking group. They are the Bantu speaking group of people that uh, they trace their origin from um, the Democratic Republic of Congo. So Congo, if you go to Congo, that is where the Luyas originated from. And they came into Kenya and today if you if you look at the map of kenya you'll realize that the luya people actually if you you look at the map of kenya you realize that where the luya people are and where congo is it's kind of like uh, the north so they say that the luya people came from the north and that is why they are called the luya people luya is on the compass direction luya is north luya luya is north so that is why they are called the Luya people. They trace their origin from uh, uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. They, ca they came into Kenya through Uganda. And that is why if you go to Uganda, we have Luya speaking population there. They are kind of just related to the Luyas of Kenya because as they were moving in, some settled in Uganda and some came into Kenya and settled around the, uh, the area near Lake. Victoria. Uh, the Luya people, the Luya people are the, the, the it is one big um, one big ethnic group, but it has distinct um, it has distinct ethnic dialects that kind of some of them they understand each other, but some 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 of them 
do not understand each other especially entirely yes they do not understand each other entirely like myself if um i'm a marachi if uh, a maragoli if uh, a maragoli was to speak there are sometimes there are words that i would miss so because they are lawyers it doesn't mean that they are going to understand each other entirely and in kenya people are always attacking us lawyers because they say that we don't speak our language but you know it's not our fault sometimes this we, we do not understand each other you see we do not understand each other completely we have you say a word and it will mean a completely different word like for example let me give you a, a word that will mean com a completely different word for example if um if i say um if i say a word like murwe Murwe. Murwe is head. Mm -hmm. So that is Murwe in my Marachi sub tribe. Murwe in another uh, Luya sub tribe is Mutui. Mutui is the head, which is for me, it is completely a different word. And if you say Mutui, where we come from, that is an insult, kind of. It is an insult. So you see, you see, you see, I told you some of these words are not similar. So we have the largest group, the largest Luya, Luya sub group or sub dialect is the Bukusu. The Bukusu and the Maragoli are the largest Luya sub tribe. And by the way, as much as they are very different, we have the cultures that run across, we have the practices, and we have the way people live. They, we have some related um, practices across all the 17 subtribes of the Luya language and the 17 subtribes of the Luya language are the following Bukusu who become the Ababukusu Bukusu is the Ababukusu Bukusu is the language Ababukusu Ababukusu are the people Idaho Avaidaho Avaidaho Idaho Avedaho. Idaho is the language. Avedaho is the people. Isuha Avesuha. Isuha is the language. Avesuha is uh, are the people. Kabaras or Kabras is the language. The people are Abakabarasi. 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 Again, here the V and the B apply. You remove the B and you replace it with a V. So Kabaras, Abakabaras. Hayo is the language Abahayo are the people. Kisa, Abakisa. Marachi, Abamarachi. Maragoli, Abamaragoli. Or Abarogoli, Abarogoli. Actually, they say it Abarogoli. Marama, Abamarama. Nyala, Abanyala. Nyole, Abanyore. Samia aba Samia. Tachoni aba Tachoni. Tiriki aba Tiriki. Tsotso aba Tsotso. Wanga aba Wanga. Tura aba Batura aba Tura. And Wanga are the only people who had a king by the way. Did you, did you know that uh, in Luya land there was a king? The Wanga are the only, they are the only um, community in Kenya that had a king. So the Wanga had a king. That is why today we they, uh, we have um, a history of the Wanga kingdom. So if you hear about the Wanga kingdom, the Wanga kingdom doesn't represent the entire Luya. The Wanga is just a sub-tribe and um, the Luya people. So I'm, I'm sure, I hope today you've learned that the language that I teach is not the Luya language that represents all the languages. There are dialects that are distinct related but also distinct in their own ways and culture so i hope that is helpful for you today and as i continue i'm going to bring you if i can i'll bring you more of the cultures and the stories surrounding the cultures of the luya people i hope to bring you that soon and yeah we'll see each other we will see each other in this video again but we cannot do that if you don't hit that red button and if you don't tell people about this channel if you don't tell your friends if you don't tell anyone who cares to know just disturb them and tell them you see there is a lady 
on YouTube. Put it as her lawyer language. A pretty lady. See you. Bye.